today in the baking lab we will be running experiments on egg reduction and egg replacement. Um, know that nothing is perfect so we are going to see somewhat failure here and there all right but I am really excited because we have sponsors who are willing to work with us in this process. So the people who have sent their um, products in for us to test with is Arla um, and Weka Corp with their alpha dextrins. Again, Arla with the whey protein concentrates and uh, Tate and Lyle with their starches. Okay, so we know that egg is really expensive in terms of formulation wise and in certain areas you know you it's just it's not cheap okay you also have to figure out the sanitation issue and also what to do with the eggshells if you have uh, a, a huge consumption of eggs in your wholesale bakery okay so all those things wrapped up you're like okay if only I could cut the amount of eggs or I could replace eggs totally, um, I would definitely um, uh, do it, right? A lot of you have told me that. And so um, the Bakerpedia uh, research lab that's just launched with the Baker Academy is now looking into different systems of egg replacement. So um, we have created a um, Control with uh, 11 ingredients, and we will be uh, replacing it with uh, 12, 13 ingredients. So um, we have already mixed the first batter out. As you can see, this is the control batter. What we're going to do next is we're going to do a 50% egg replacement and it is going to be with cake flour um, this is the tender gel uh, starch. It is an instant starch from Tate and Lyle some oil A whole egg. Previously we were using two whole eggs and now we just cut it by 50%. Next would be sugar and um, that's we did not want to change the amount of sugar so it's the same amount of sugar. Next we have water this much about 105% uh, water flour weight um, and then we have whole egg sorry no sorry emulsifier this is the alpha dextrins that was sent in by Wecker Cop okay let me just see if I could just put it here Right. We have baking powder. Salt. Okay. 
These are uh, the next two are our lab products, which is Neutralac and Variolac. Neutralac is a functional whey protein, and uh, Variolac is actually a bulking um, whey protein agent. So um, they two function uh, very well in replacing eggs. We're going to bit it on one and then um, high on ten, I believe. So in an industrial setting, we would just uh, mix last and send everything through the Oaks machine, okay? I do it for 10 minutes, right?
Okay, so we have mixed everything, and um, let's look at the product. Okay, and we actually baked this prior to coming here, and um, we got the muffins. Okay, so um, let's look at the batter first, because um, there you go can see the viscosity it's pretty thick it's pretty thick as well so we have tweaked the formulas so that the specific gravity for both of them are very close to each other okay as you can see the biggest difference here is going to be the color okay the one with egg it, double the amount of egg has a darker yellow, more yellow hue to it, and the one with 50% less eggs has a pale color to it. So you can't really do much about that. You're taking out eggs, and um, it's just going to be less yellow. So the only um, thing you can really do is add in a yellow or turmeric color. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the batters. Okay. Let's look at the product. We have the control. Let's do this so they can see it. We have the control product here. You go. Okay. The 50% replacement over here. And we went one step further and make 100% um, egg replacement. Uh, situation but the problem is if, if you can see this the height of these is somewhat affected by um, the oh maybe maybe I could do it this way you can see it yeah so you have the control 50% egg replacement and 100% egg, egg replacement so um, of course, because it's yellower, it has more reducing sugars, it's going to brown more than the egg replacement uh, solutions. What you can do is possibly um, give it a longer time in the oven to brown up a little bit more. But even though, I mean, it's just an obs observation, you might not need that much browning because you can see even this to me is an acceptable golden brown color. Okay, so this is the control. It's the interior. Got it? All right, you can see that real well. Okay, the next one, 50% egg replacement. And for those product developers out there who don't have an electric knife, you should go buy an electric knife because it helps you dissect your baked product goods without damaging the SLs. Okay, so it's a really great tool. I bought this for less than $30 at Walmart. So it's pretty cheap. Okay, right, so look at this. Pretty similar, huh? It's a little more tunnel, a little more tunneling in there, but basically it is uh, very similar. What I would do in the 50% egg replacement um, side of things is make sure that um, you, I, I put in more air in there, so in terms of Viscosity, maybe adding um, a little tiny bit more starch. Um, put in somewhat of a uh, lecithin kind of emulsifier, and definitely increase the baking powder to get this, to get to that, you know, that the same volume as that. But 
I like the look of the crumb, and I think this is an interesting and very successful exercise in replacing the eggs. We definitely have some more work to do, but at least it did not flop, you know. Very similar in taste. Very moist as well. And um, let's see. So we are going to be posting the formulas down below so that you can look at it and so that you could duplicate what we did here today. And basically, um, if you have any more questions, um, we're going to put all our sponsor links below so that you can request your samples as well, okay? And they would have technical expertise to help you develop your benchtop formulations for egg replacements. So, um, I hope you enjoy this small little demo today uh, that we uh, performed on egg replacement. I hope to have you back again real soon to look at other ingredients and other innovations that we see coming onto our baking lab bench. Okay? So thank you for joining me.